Hey YouTube, it's time for another Pleated Pants playthrough. Today we're going to go to Hickory Creek Golf Club, a recently renovated course by Matt F27. We're going to play next week's Jack Wagon Golf Club event there. For those of you that might not be familiar with the Jack Wagon Golf Club, it is a weekly event that is using the online society feature in PGA Tour 2K21. We have the tournament set up on the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the PC, so if you have the game, you're probably able to play. What we're going to do for the rest of this video is I'm going to play through a practice round at Hickory Creek. I'm going to give you some of my thoughts about the course. I hope you learned something, and I hope we see you playing this week on the Jack Wagon Golf Club. Enjoy. <music> And uh, I think that this course is amazing. Um, uh, the front nine here has a lot of water on the left. And uh, see if you feel the same kind of vibes that I had when I was playing practice round. What I like about this course is I love how the big bunkerings uh, frame everything. You're gonna see that throughout this round. I like the big tall trees. I like all the pine straw. And what we're gonna try to do through this playthrough is we're not going to try to do anything crazy. We're gonna try to hit good shots, not slows like that but basically just give you an idea of what the course looks like, what are the different shots that you have, how do the greens respond and stuff like that. So throughout this, we're gonna be talking about those things. I'm gonna be chatting with chat. Sometimes I will cut those out of the YouTube video and other times I keep them in if I think that they're relevant. First thing I notice is that the greens uh, are pretty hard. That they're only like a hundred and seven. They're they're one seventy nine. They're one seventies, um, but that rolled a lot. So let's see how they break. All right, pretty true. Well, nothing you can do about it now. Is pop the bogey, cut in, and move on. Freeze on this hole. All right, so we got a par five. Things that we always look for on par fives is when we get down here into the landing area, what's the best, what's the best angle into the green? And really, it doesn't matter. We just gotta be in the fairway. Yeah, Butcher will make this second shot, make you think about this second shot, won't it? And second shot here on the second but, you know what? Like, it looks like that you can probably get it there without hitting driver off the deck. But you still got to hit it good. All right, well, that will let you know because that's about as good as you can get. All right, so it's going to be, oh man, if we would have threaded it through there, it might have got into the very front. Oh, look at this. You might want to leave yourself a full shot with that pin. All depends on how comfortable you are hitting splash shots. I like them, but other people don't. And this one is for the birdie. There we go. Nice little ho hum birdie. We've got a long par four staring us down on this one. Ooh, I like this. This is still a driver. Man. Look at the framing of that. Look, that's beautiful. 
this is why I love this game and I love the designers like Matt F that put time and attention and just love into these courses because that doesn't happen without them strategically thinking about how they want this next approach shot to look and they wanted you to see that big bunker they wanted the, the your eyesight to go right there. This is a tough shot. And we bailed out. I think this might need to sit. That's the bailout spot. Yeah, that'll work. I did not want to be in that bunker. Twenty-seven feet. Oh my lord. Away. If I would have just just missed being a little piece of perfect. All right, downhill putting master. Oh Over Reddit. Wow, and that rolled a lot. There's a seven foot putt. Pretty good. Oh, hum par. Okay, well played. So let's take a look at this. Um, it, it looks like, all right, there's not two fairways. I thought for a second there might be a second fairway over here, but there's not. So this is tight. It's gonna bounce to the left. So, and the wind's blowing to our left. I think we can cut it. Perfect. Uh, now one little hop to the left and stay out of the rough and it will be a little piece of perfect. They are speedy greens, Butcher. I'm, I'm seeing that already, that you want to be on the right side of them. This one looks like it's fairly flat. It's just very small to get, very small landing area nine so this will end up going to 20. so that's where it would bounce and maybe a little bit more with the 101. like i think that that's i think i think 111 is the right club then let's throw up a little spin Oh, he could have just hit that stock. Oh, right, that works. We're on the green with that one. Well done. Let's go down to one under if this goes in. Um, two par. I have been um, uh, reading and looking at every review of those Mizuno irons. Uh, and... Uh, this um. Uh, I, I need to get my hands on the 223s and the 225s um, and figure out which one's right for me. Like, they, they are absolutely stunning. They're absolutely stunning golf golf clubs. All right, so I love, I love greens like this that have this sort of, like, rejection area. So it really makes you think about this shot. Do you flight it in higher and take more club? or do you hit your normal club and hope for a big bounce? And so we're right there in, in uh, no man's land there. We got lucky. So we hit that good. So we're gonna have to take the, the longer club. It doesn't matter if you make the putt. like a fair way off the tee here all right like i don't think that that drive really that drives just hit it in the fairway uh, but it's long so every every the more you cheat the better it's going to be because it's going to be a shorter shot
Oh, this could be good. A little bit to the right on the approach here. I'll take that. Safe approach. Nice. All right. This is nice. This is basically downhill. And all you got to do is figure out what this might break. This is one of those where you kind of just hit and hope. Hit that too hard. Looking really good. But you might boom. Be on your way to quite a little streak here. Two birdies in a row. Alright, you know what? I love going for shots like this. Beauty of a swing there. Go in. Oh. Boom! And boom. It's... Four hundred more spin on the two two threes than the nine nineteens. See, that's perfect. That's perfect. So another part five and another part five that has this do you go up here or do you go down here maybe a little bit better angle from here but maybe a little bit shorter from here um so i'm more comfortable hitting this shot uh-oh perfect what happened there Oh, I'm bad, bad line. Um, okay, well that that's oh, that's, that's not good. Okay, the ball's above your feet here. You might want to aim a little more to the right when you're lining that shot up than you normally would. All right, so we just got to hack it out and play for birdie. Um, do they have a 105 option? Because I'm actually playing the 105s right now. All right, so I think this is just, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, there's another green and reg. I'm liking it. All right, if you get these, um, if you get your proximities in, you're gonna have makeable birdie putts. Um, uh, and obviously I, when I say that, I miss the easy birdie putt. Coming up. Beautiful swing. There we go. Bosberg, get your old ass to bed. Have a good night, buddy. We love you too, my friend. See, that's what I like about the Clevelands is they're heavier. I can feel the I can feel the club head better. Um, Vokies are always too light for me. And so that makes a lot of sense that you just confirmed that um, uh, they they do have the head weight in them. Good job out of the sand. Well done. Okay, for the save. Looking good. There we go. And that's your power. So what does everyone think about the course so far now that you've seen 10 holes of it? I like this part three. I like the small, you know, the two little platform, small green.
Ooh, wind hit that a lot more than I thought. Okay, we can save par here with this putt. And nice putt. Let's move on. Yeah, what I've seen so far is a nice variety of holes. I think that right now you are um, a, they I, I think the course just looks beautiful. Oh, look at this. Like we needed to, oh, this is where you have to take a look at the fairway because I'm blocked out over here. I need to be on the left side of the fairway. Let's see if I can thread it. Not sure where this one's gonna end up. All right, it just and it didn't release through, but you know what? We we put ourselves in pretty good spot, and we can just hit our normal, oh, seventy-five to eighty percent splash shot. Spin, thank you. Just four feet left on this one. There we go. Ooh, I always like these that say hit driver, but if you hit it too far, you could be in the rough. So I think usually the fairway wood is the better option. And now what we want to get it is one big bounce. Setting up from 145 yards away. Got a little backstop. Got some wind into our face and our back. Let's hit this and just see where it goes. This could be All right, let's see what this backstop does. Or did I hit it too far? Is it gonna stay? Oh, it's gonna stay up there. Come on, roll down. This is gonna be a uh, really hard putt. Two putt and get out of there. Uh oh, that's gonna be short. Oh well, yeah, didn't quite make it there. Let's go in. All right, there we go. Still ho on par. It's a good lag putt if the comebacker goes in. Our kid's telling me the whole number 16's fun. Well, that tee shot looks like it'll do. That's nicely judged, I think. One big bounce. Oh, most of the other holes have been taking a little bit bigger first bounce. But you know what? We'll still take that. That's a good spot to, to miss it. Hit it too hard. Uh oh. And drop this one in for your par. Heading towards the hole. What was started as looking like an easy birdie turned into a scrambling par. Five under for the round. Here comes hole number 15. Oh, hang right there. Okay, I think this is going to be fine. It's going to bounce into the fairway. That's nice. Wow, very, that's a long way. The more you cut the corner, the better.
Big bounce. Nope, not again. Ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. Okay, third shot. If um, uh, Fosberg, if you made 14 nice foot putts like shit. that and you were um, uh, playing on Sundays, I'd caddy for you. I'd get my ass in shape. There it is. Come on, Bob. Kick to the right. What was wrong with this hole, our kid? This is a nice hole. This is from way out. Oh. All right, setting up six feet from the cup. Let's track him. Oh, hump park. Oh, and has a part five finishing hole. I love it. Let's see what 17 has in store for us. More water to the right, Sea Flow. Nice, pure swing, great stuff. We've got about 135 yards or so. All right, like. There are going to be some fun pins here. I like this first one. This might not be enough. Oh, it stopped. Almost. Great putt. Just uh, just didn't go all the way under. Still for you after that hole. Eighteen. Let's take a look at the landing area. Get into the fairway. Don't think that there's any advantage to being on either side, and your landing area is small enough, at least at my skill level, that I am never going to be thinking left side or right side on a fairway of that size. Scorable. Oh, this could be really good. Heck yeah. Doing all right this hole on the green. Under regulation. That's good work. We've got this left for your eagle. And, and finish off 18 holes at Hickory Creek no. GC 2022 version with a nice little mingo. All right, so I think that this course, just taking a look at it here and playing 18 holes for the first time is very fun. I think that it's scorable if you're hitting the ball good. If you're a little bit off, then I think that it's gonna be, there's a lot of pars out here. Um, this is gonna be a fun course to play next week's Jack Wagon on.